How gorgeous are those? Oh, these are totally coming to Mexico with me. And that, my friends, is the perfect bubble bath routine. Mm? Mm? Hello friends, Adriana here. Happy Sunday and welcome to another week of the vlog. Having a very relaxing morning, starting with a scramble and some coffee. Push you guys back a little bit. <sighs> it is a overcast, cold Sunday out, so I do not mind just spending the entire day inside today, which I think that is what we're gonna do because we are now exactly one week from Mexico. If you're new here, I am going to Mexico next Sunday. I'm gonna be there for four or five days for a wedding with my boyfriend. And uh, so this week is Mexico prep. So today is gonna be a chill, relaxing day because the rest of the week is gonna be insanity getting ready for it. So we're gonna enjoy ourselves relax, maybe take a bubble bath, and uh, just like reset, get ready for the week to come. Starting with a nutritious and delicious breakfast. Last bite, always so sad. Mm, so good though. Okay, so this week, I'm gonna try something a little different on the vlog and I want you guys to let me know what you think. I've been doing pretty long form vlogs lately. Usually they're like 35 to 55 minutes. And I know some of you enjoy that. You just put it on in the background and like go about whatever you're doing and kind of like listen and watch periodically, which I love. That's what I do when I watch vlogs. But my views are just stagnant slash kind of like inconsistent so I'm gonna try something a little different I'm gonna go for a little more of a highlight reel so instead of just vlogging everything or almost everything that I do each day I'm just gonna kind of like pick and choose what things I think are maybe more interesting to watch maybe it won't be every day maybe it'll be like every other day or like every couple days but this week specifically, I'm going to focus on things that are just toward Mexico prep. So like today is going to be like getting my apartment ready. But like as we go through the week, I have to do some shopping. I have to start packing. Um, so stuff like that is what I'm going to show this week in the vlog. So it's going to be a little different. Let me know what you think and enjoy. Friends, it has been a very productive Sunday so far. We did the dishes, picked up the apartment, bed is made, everything is cleaned up. This table was a disaster. Now it's clean, ready to go, cleared off. I started pulling clothes for Mexico already uh, last week actually, because I was just so excited. And now it is time for a little unboxing. Okay, so you guys know that I have worked with Ana Luisa multiple times. It's all the jewelry that I wear that I basically live in. I think I put these earrings in a couple weeks ago, have not taken them out. These necklaces I pretty much wear all the time. Sometimes I take them off, but like normally I sleep, work out, shower, do everything in all of this jewelry. And I am now officially an Ana Luisa brand ambassador. I could not be more excited. I love their jewelry and just their mission and that it's a New York City based company, female founded company. They care about the environment. They care about the quality of the materials, but also making sure that their jewelry is affordable for the quality that it is. So we have a little bit of unboxing to do. 
love their boxes. I'm so excited. Ooh, different colors. They have the nicest packaging for their jewelry. Like these little bags, they're perfect even for like traveling. And so like when I go to Mexico, I'm obviously gonna bring some of their jewelry and it's like the perfect little pouches where it's gonna stay safe and it's like a nice magnetic closure. Okay, let's start. This one, I have not gotten one this size yet. <gasps> Ooh, oh my God, I really hope I got the right size. Oh, look at this though. This is one of their, this is their rope, like braided ring. Oh my God, it's gorgeous. I love that it's like um, narrower in the bottom and then like a little thicker, chunkier at the top. Oh, so cute. Let's see, what figure do you fit on? I'm obsessed. I actually have not gotten any of their rings yet. Ooh, yes yes oh love oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god um oh and how cute is this little this little bag are you kidding me i'm obsessed next up what do we have oh yes they're their paper clip earrings gorgeous nice and like they're not too thick so i feel like they won't be like too big and they're a good length because sometimes long earrings do not look good on me but these are perfect perfect length love what else next medium size what is it <gasps> oh they have so much nice like emerald and green jewelry and i love these I don't even know what color green that is, but let me take the plastic off so you can see it better. How gorgeous are those? Oh, these are totally coming to Mexico with me, 100%. Okay, and then last, very dainty. I believe it's a necklace. I forget exactly what the name of this one is, um, but I'll have everything that I've shown here um, linked down below for you guys. But if you use my code, which will also be in the description, it gives you buy one, get one 40% off, which is perfect because Mother's Day is just around the corner. And what better gift than some great quality, long lasting jewelry. I tell you, I gave my mom actually a pair of these earrings. One second. For Christmas, I got my mom this set which it's the, I'm pretty sure they're the Rocks Minis and the Rocks Small or like regular size. I always wear them together. You buy it, they're two separate, so you could use buy 140, get a nice pair like this and treat your mom. My mom loves these, whoops. My mom loves hers and it's so nice because you can literally wear them and they don't tarnish, they don't like make you have like green skin. It's really great quality. And what's better and like now also my mom and I have matching earrings so you could even do that get one for her one for you and have it like a little mother daughter or mother son mother whatever and it doesn't even have to be your mom it could be someone who is a mother like figure to you or maybe your friend who's a mother you know we're of the age I'm 26 I know people who are having babies treat them with some nice jewelry for Mother's Day and use my code to get buy one get one 40% off Forgot to mention that this is sponsored by Ana Luisa. Don't know if I mentioned that, but um, thank you, Ana Luisa. I love your stuff and I'm very excited to continue working with you. Hello and welcome to my bathroom where I would like to introduce a new segment to the vlog, Bath Time with Adriana. If you've been watching my vlogs, you know I love me a bubble bath. And I figure today as part of my like relaxing day, prep for this crazy week leading up to Mexico, I would take a little bubble bath, you know? Let the body relax, get some recovery going, make sure I have a wonderful night's sleep tonight. So I thought that I would take you guys through my bubble bath routine and show you how I make the best bath. Let's get started. So two of my bath essentials are Epsom salts and bubble bath. I like to use Dr. Teal's. Um, my favorite is the eucalyptus and spearmint scent. I think it is so nice. 
So what I like to start with, I've already wiped down my bathtub to make sure it's nice and clean because I don't want to be bathing in a gross bathtub. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is take this little plug that I got off Amazon when I first moved to this apartment like a little over a year ago and I just put it in the little, the little drain hole. Now that the bathtub is ready for water, the first thing I do is actually put in the Epsom salts and the bubble bath because I have learned that if you want maximum bubbleage, I don't know if that's a word, um, you have to put the bubble bath in so that as the water is hitting when it's filling up the tub, it creates the bubbles. And if you put the Epsom salts in after, it kind of disintegrates the bubbles. So. I have no idea the proper proportion of Epsom salt you're supposed to put in a bath, but I figure like a nice little like soft coating on the bottom can't hurt. Now with the bubble bath, I'm just gonna sprinkle it on the bottom down by here where it's actually gonna get hit by the water. I'm going for like maximum bubbles, so I kind of put a lot. And now we fill. It smells absolutely amazing in here and look at all those bubbles. I don't know if they're really coming up on camera, but hold on, let me see. Those bubbles are like so high, like six inches high. I'm so excited. Um, you may think we are ready to take a bath, but you would be incorrect because we still have a few other steps and that is to set the ambiance. You know, if you want to enjoy your bath, it's nice to have like some music or Netflix, get some candles going. So we're going to put both of my dossier candles that I have a little bit left in each. We have our aromatic star anise and floriental vanilla. Very nice. I feel like they'll smell good together. So I'll put one on each corner of my sink here. And then while the tub was filling, I sliced up some cucumber because when I take a bath, I tend to get kind of hot because you're just literally soaking in hot water. So I find it's refreshing to have like cucumber or some berries and then always, always, always have a glass of cold water. But plastic because we don't want glass in the bathtub. Setup complete. Movie has been selected. Turn the lights off. The candles are going and we our perfect bubble bath time ready. And that, my friends, is the perfect bubble bath routine. I am now going to enjoy. What's up, friends? Today is Tuesday, and it is almost packing day. All right. So, I'm gonna go shopping on Thursday. So I figure today is a good day to start pulling clothes and figuring out what I have, what I wanna take, what I don't need to take, and what, if anything, I need. So let's get to pulling. I already started, as I showed you earlier in the week. So this is, this is where we're starting at. I think I'm just gonna start by pulling what I know I want to take, and then we might have to try some stuff on to see what fits. I know I want to wear this on the plane because I'm traveling on Easter Sunday, and I feel like that'll just be like a fun, festive sweater and just wear like a tank top under it or something for like layers for traveling, you know? Maybe that's what I need to do is I need to pack outfits for days instead of just stuff that's probably a better move yeah let's do that okay so let's start with sunday if you watched last week's vlog i had bought a few tops on amazon when i got my bathing suits 
and they were like cute little crop tops but they were like a little too short and the white and the gray were like very see-through so it wasn't really worth it to spend $30 for potentially only two tops so I returned them but I'm like that's kind of the top I want to wear but like in gray for under this so maybe I'll add that to my need to purchase list okay bottoms cute we're gonna move on we're gonna move on from Sunday and I feel like I feel like maybe the outfits wasn't a good idea maybe I just need to pull stuff that I like that I would want to wear and then create outfits from that I think that's what we're gonna try next All right, I think that's everything from the closet. So now we go to the drawers. I'm not trying to go crazy. I'm trying to, like, I'm only packing in a carry-on, which if I can't do that for like three days of packing, like four days of packing, we have a problem. But I believe in myself, I know I can do it. It's just a matter of being strategic. For shoes, I'm also thinking I'm gonna travel in these and bring these. And I can't decide if these will be nice enough for the wedding or if I should get like some more like classic, simple little sandal heels, like a tan sandal, but we'll see. We'll see when I try the dress on. Okay, we've changed back into some comfy clothes. Guys, we're whipping out the shorts for the dog walks later. Um, because it is 64 degrees outside going to be up to 72 so very exciting it's warming up in New York City but this is where we are landing for now I have this dress not sure if I'm gonna bring it I feel like Mexico is like the perfect place to wear it it's just like so much dress but we'll see um, okay my camera is about to die so we're gonna do this fast I have so far three little tanks, definitely going to bring that yellow one as well once I wash it. These light shorts, this is a maybe, this is one of my um, Lululemon Align tanks that are super comfy. I have this, I feel like it kind of goes, I think, could be really cute. Two bathing suits, day romper, day romper, night romper maybe, this one I feel like is a maybe. Just some shorts to throw on if I want, PJs, shirt to travel home in. This is where we're at so far. So I know for sure, I definitely need to get a dress for um, the rehearsal dinner. I forgot that that was a thing. Dress for the rehearsal dinner. Maybe some better travel pants. Okay, she died, but we're back. Um, so definitely need to get a dress for the rehearsal wedding some different travel pants because I don't know that I really want to wear leggings but I don't have any good pants that I feel like will be comfortable that won't be like too hot for getting there we'll see I haven't decided because I want to wear basically it's because I want to wear this sweater and I don't have pants other than like jeans that go with it and there's no way I'm traveling in jeans that is just not my style I'm an athleisure traveler so two and then maybe a pair of shoes if the sandals are not formal enough which I have a feeling they might not be I just can't get the vibe from the pictures of the resort like I don't know how formal this wedding is and I'm having a really hard time with that but so potentially three things knowing me I'll probably buy more but that is gonna be Thursday's activity well the dress came in and um, let's just say we're gonna send it right back Look at this. It's not cute. The color is like not the best. I mean, granted it's super wrinkly, but it just like, it does not do anything for me. And I feel very like matronly. See, this is the problem with being short and trying to wear a maxi dress is it's just so much dress that it's like, it's too much. 
Like, it's too much. So, uh, Thursday we will be adding dress for the wedding to the shopping list. All right, we are doing a bit of shopping today. I was on the Upper West Side after walking um, Mia Lauren's dog, who's a member at Orange Theory. And I was like, let me at least do some shoe shopping, maybe get that out of the way. So we are at Marshall's and I'm doing the walk test, literally just pacing around trying to see if these shoes are comfortable. I can't decide. Like, they're cute. I just don't know if I'm gonna be happy like wearing them for multiple hours for a wedding and then like dancing in them, you know? But they are cute and very versatile. Okay, these were more what I was looking for because they have a strap. They're a little high and I think a size too small. Successful shopping trip, friends. We got the shoes, the strappy nude ones that I was showing you, and, and we scored a dress. Christiana met me there and then <clears throat> I'm all phlegmy from the spice. We just went to a Thai restaurant and got some delicious foods that I will show you in some B-roll clips here. And it was such a nice little sister date night. Yeah. And it is gorgeous out. Like the weather is perfect. I'm literally in Christiana's short sleeves. literally in short sleeves. It's a little chilly. I have a sweatshirt on because I don't know how you're doing that. 10 o'clock at night it's and I'm just a little chilly. Crazy. Honestly, just so pumped that I have the wedding day outfit complete. I'm not gonna show you the dress. Maybe you'll see it when we're packing later in the week. Maybe you'll have to wait and see it in Mexico. A glimpse of it. Maybe a glimpse, just a little sprinkling. <laughs> shopping day. We are outside Macy's at Herald Square meeting up with Christiana to do the last, hopefully the last, of the shopping for the trip. I need stuff, she needs stuff for something, an event that she's working. Um, and it is an insanely hot day in the city today. It is currently, it's 5.15 p.m. and it's still 79 degrees out. It is, summer is in the air, but there's definitely about to be a storm, so we're going inside. Want to know what I just learned? There's an Old Navy, a massive Old Navy by Herald Square. Literally, uh, Macy's is right here. Is right here. Old Navy across the street on, what is this, 34th. On 34th. Dangerous. I did find some linen pants that I'm gonna wear with this sweater which is my third outfit change of the day. Um, I literally wore this sweater and brought it with me so that I could find pants to wear on the plane because I don't want to wear leggings. I want like a little more like island vibes. So I found those linen pants that I'm gonna wear. I found a slip for under the wedding, the dress that I'm wearing for the wedding. Christiana unfortunately did not find what she was looking for, but we have a better idea of what you need. Yeah, I, still, I still have about a month. So. Yeah, you got time. And um, tomorrow morning, I'm gonna get up early and go shopping because I still need a dress for the rehearsal dinner. But we're making moves, I'm feeling good, and it is no longer raining. It was pouring outside, as you can see from the very wet road. But ta-ta for now. Ta -ta. Hello again. We are once again shopping. It is now Friday morning, and this lighting is terrifying. But I am shopping for rehearsal dinner dress which as of this morning i don't even know if i am going but mr hopscotch was like i assume you're going so we're gonna bring a dress just in case this is the first thing um this is option one that we're trying we're in marshall's cute simple love the red let's see the next option 
Okay, someone came into the dressing room, so I didn't want to be loud. This one, it's like kind of cute. I think just not cute on me, at least not for this occasion. So it's a no. Next, um, love the color. I just feel like this is like going into an office vibes. Not quite rehearsal dinner, not what I'm looking for. So maybe, but no. On to the next store. We're at the TJ Maxx across town now. Christiana's with us and we have a contender. Mm? Mm? Contender number two, kind of like this one. Definitely still leaning towards the red. TJ Maxx was a success. I bought both the red and that green dress because honestly, I like them both and I'm just gonna bring them as options and keep the tags on and whatever I don't wear, return. Or honestly, I might just keep because like they're cute dresses, so we'll see. But uh, now, Christiana and I just got some breakfast. We're going back to my apartment to eat and um, I will see you guys tomorrow now because Yasmin and I are going to get Manny Petties together because you know, gotta get the nails ready for Mexico and uh, and then I'm getting a wax, but I probably, I'm not gonna bring you guys on that, but I'll bring you for the Manny Petty. So see you, see you tomorrow. Hey, yes. <laughs> look at mine, look at mine. <laughs> They're about to be beautiful, don't worry. I know. <laughs> Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Nails are done. Wait, look at, on. look at Yasmin got some, some nice little tips. I did, and I got French on my toes too. We love, we love. And now we wax. First two appointments of the day complete. Now third appointment is Miss Zoe. <laughs> I figured I couldn't put a vlog up without Zoe in it. So there is your little bit of Zoe content for the week. Christiana's with us again. Why, you just went right behind me. It's Zoe. <laughs> That cutie little floof. And hairs are cut. Thank you to Dramatics. Hairs are cut, body is waxed, nails are painted, and now it is time to pack. So I have everything pulled here that I have at my apartment. There's a few things at Mr. Hopscotch's that I'll grab when I go over there later. But enjoy this time lapse of filling my packing cubes, which I live by. This is how I can pack so much into a small suitcase. Bottom on Amazon, linked below. Enjoy. All right, we actually have so much space in here still, which is amazing. And I thought I'd show you the Ana Luisa jewelry that I'm going to bring with me for the wedding. First off, the ring, love. Definitely gonna wear that for the wedding with my dress. And then, and then I'm gonna wear these earrings with the dress for the wedding. Very excited. I'm bringing these other little Ana Luisa hoops that I have so that if I want to double up and have the hoops with the danglies in the front and then the regular hoops in the back. And then for necklaces, I'm bringing two pieces from one of their stackable sets that I wear like all the time. And then I'm wearing the dainty little necklace right now. I switched back into my both of my rocks earrings and that's all I'm bringing for jewelry. All I have left to put in here is like my S waiver, which is at Mr. Hopscotch's apartment. And then I think that's really it. I'll probably put my makeup in here. But other than that, we're pretty much packed. So I think this is where I'm gonna leave y'all for the week um, because now it's just like last little things which are not that exciting and then we fly out at 6 a.m. tomorrow morning.
So get ready for next week, next Sunday, when I post a vlog of Mexico. We'll see, I'm deciding. Let me know in the comments, would you rather see just like a long vlog of Mexico of all the days, or would you prefer I post like a bunch of single day videos or more like just a video of the hotel, like a little hotel tour um, or like stuff like that, or like restaurants tours or, you know, little like day in the lives instead of a week in the life of Mexico. Let me know in the comments down below. And with that, I appreciate you all. Stay safe and sane, and I'll see you in Mexico. Bye.